Well, preserving history is a passion for a lot of people, usually those preserving their own history of their family or maybe even their town. Well, our next story is about preserving someone else's history just because it's the honorable thing to do. NBC Bay Area's Garvin Thomas is here with tonight's Bay Area Proud. Do you know, the King's Academy is a private Christian prep school founded in the early 90s. They talk a lot about honor there, and they back it up too, as you'll see in tonight's Bay Area Proud. At the King's Academy in Sunnyvale, renovations are just about complete on their brand new quad. New concrete, new awning, new landscaping, all making it much more attractive. But it's the new screws holding up the old plaques that are the most meaningful. We wanted to make sure those plaques were uh, displayed in a more honorable way. Matt Nesbitt is Director of Operations for the King's Academy. Anything that needs scheduling or building or renovating, uh, probably it uh, is something that falls into my category. Which is why it was Matt's job to figure out what to do with the 23 bronze plaques that had been displaced by the renovation, one for each graduating class from 1958 to 1980, but not graduates of this school. King's Academy, you see, occupies the campus that was once home to Sunnyvale High School. The district closed that school in the early 80s, though left their plaques and a bench and a sundial behind. The King's Academy could have ripped all of them up and handed them back. It wasn't their history, after all. Correct. We could have given the artifacts right back to their owners, the original owners, Fremont Union High School District, and said thank you very much. But we chose instead to honor the site, to honor those who uh, were part of this campus. They didn't have to preserve someone else's history, but they did. <laughs> Just like they didn't have to make last Friday's football game, Are you the, the Sunnyvale High School alumni game. In the stands tonight, alumni. But they did that too. At the Sunnyvale High School. It was King's Academy versus SoCal between the sidelines, but a Sunnyvale reunion everywhere else. These Sunnyvale alumni may no longer have a school, but thanks to the kindness of others, they will always have a home. God bless them. You know, they're really terrific people. And I thank them from the bottom of my heart. And so do the rest of us. All of us Jets are just so, so touched. Nice thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't have to do it. They could have just taken up the plaques and the bench and the sundial and said, here, these belong to you. Good luck with them. But they really went out of their way, not only in the physical, as you saw with that, uh, with what they did with the memorabilia, but, you know, arranging a football game. So the alumni, the, student, the students have some place to come back to. Obviously, many of us, we can go back to our high school. The alumni of Sunnyvale High School, they can't. Yeah, I grew up in Sunnyvale, and I don't remember Sunnyvale High. I remember more about Fremont and Homestead, but, but now as we saw that story, I remember it's all coming back to me now. Mm. <laughs> a little before your time. <laughs> Thanks, Garvin. Thanks. Well, coming up, new help in detecting an illness.